previously. Oh, we got Dark Arm Dragon! Let's go, baby! On Progression Series Season 2. Oh my god! What the fuck? This game sucks, bro! Oh my god! What an awful game, bro. I... I don't have much to say, Rob. I'm really unhappy with you this episode. <laughs> In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves an unbanned ticket to redeem this episode, as if things couldn't get any worse for Gage, just when he thought he could go and get rid of Harpy's Feather Duster, we're bringing it right back. It's going to be a nightmare for him to deal with, but I feel like he has a lot of problems to deal with, and Harpy's Feather Duster is just one of them. Now, Gage does have a banned ticket to redeem this episode, because he is going back to the banning. Let's go ahead and see what he decides to take out this episode. Last week was none short of an embarrassment, bro. I got absolutely slaughtered by Mr. Simo himself. I don't want to lose that way ever again. Luckily for me, I'm in the banning again this week, not by the terms that I want to be. I have lost three matches in a row, which means I get to remove one card from Alex's card pool. Unfortunately, he is also able to unban a card today because he did spin it on the wheel. You win some, you lose some. I know Alex has had the pleasure of unbanning his Harpy's Feather Duster, so he is able to put that back in his deck. I'm going to try to metagame him a bit, though. Uh, what good is back row removal when I just don't play back row in a deck. So I'm only going to build around that premise today, and I'm actually going to remove Alex's main really kill maneuver for which it's been for the last few episodes, Cyberstein, from his collection. I'm tired of being terrified when he is on that 5,000 threshold if he can just bridge a gap by summoning a single level 2 dude. It really is just demoralizing to completely lose to one card over and over again. I am going to remove Cyberstein from Alex's card pool. I think we can deal with Feather Duster until we are able to remove it from his card pool yet again. Trying not to get OTK'd anymore, so Cyberstein's out of Alex's collection, but we got a really big set today, so let's get into it. Pretty exciting way to start off the episode. We have a card get unbanned, we have another card get banned, and uh, I'm gonna have to change up my strategy because now with Cyberstein out of the picture, I can no longer just win the game out of nowhere just because I have over 5,000 life points. It was fun while it lasted. And honestly, it wasn't going to last very much longer because I had a feeling that was coming. So we get to spin the wheel and redeem our prize for last episode, and hopefully we can get something equally as powerful as we've been getting because we have been on on a tear. Another wild card promo, huh? I'm gonna have to think about this one. All right, so I'm actually a bit torn on this one. The promo card slot's kind of tough because a lot of the promos just suck, but the ones that are good are really fucking good. Stratos is very strong, but also is Disc Commander, and Disc Commander would be legal for quite some time, especially before it gets the errata. I'm leaning towards Disc Commander as my pick because we can actually get Stratos in Champion Pack 6. This would require us to lose, obviously, but even if we do, at least there's a much higher likelihood of getting this versus Disc Commander, which wouldn't be until 2011. Also, since this is the Gold Series episode, if we pull Crush Card, this is a Crush Card target as well. We can have some small synergies because I believe we pulled either one or two Destiny Draw and two copies of Mali. So we have a small Destiny Hero engine and then Stratos could actually round this out. We're going to get more shots at him later. You can even see he comes in the Tins, Dual Terminal, which I don't know how we're going to do that. But also he's in the uh, Legendary Collection GX set as well in 2011 with Disc 
Disc Commander. So because there's more shots at uh, Stratos versus Disc Commander, I'm going to lock in Disc Commander. We've never had this card in Progression Series, so let's give it a test drive. I'm excited to see how this one plays out. And speaking of Gold Series, that's our set for today. So let's have Gage tell you all about it. Today is Gold Series 1, Gold Series 2008, a massive reprint set that came to the TCG uh, that introduced a brand new rarity as well. The Gold Rare is still a rarity that you see experimented with today, and it was experimental back in the day as well. Gold Series 1 gave us this new Gold Rare. I'll actually pull it up. I'll give you guys a look. When you think of the ancient Egyptian pharaohs and you think of Yu-Gi-Oh, look at that, man. That gold border looks absolutely stunning. Made for a really beautiful rarity that we would see for the next few years, uh, all encompassed in the Gold Series set, where they took some of the best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh at the time, reimprinted them in this good gold rarity, and also just, you know, gave the uh, wider audience uh, the ability to pick up the cards again. I really like the Gold Series through 1 through 4. They had a very distinct look with this rustic kind of gold, really matched the thematics of, you know, Egyptians and pharaohs and stuff. Later on down the line, I think they lost their way. You look at sets like Maximum Gold, they don't look anything like this classic gold rare kind of look to it. They look bad, is what I'm trying to say. Not really a fan of the new premium gold, but the old gold rares are still some of the most gorgeous cards to this date. I will stand by that. The gold series still serves the same purpose, though, and that's getting difficult cards to obtain in the hands of players that much need them. That's exactly what 2008's gold series set out to do, giving us a whole bunch of cards that we're able to pick up for our collection again. Crush Card Virus being the chase card of a format, previously being only a prize card that you could obtain from the Shonen Jump Championship series. If a player was lucky enough to own a copy of Crush Card Virus, they were single-handedly able to win games just off of this trap card alone. So a much-needed first initial reprint in this set here, along with just some heavy hitters. Jinzo, Don's Luke, Breaker the Magical Warrior, Dark Magician of Chaos, another Cyber Dragon reprint, Grandmaster of the Six Samurai was big too. Just a whole bunch of really much-needed reprints, along with even some heavy hitters. Heavy Storm, Swords of Revealing Light, Rota, Rain Control, Mirror Force, Torrential Tribute. Are you kidding me? All these cards are insane. Torrential Tribute's not on our shared ban list anymore. Might want to try to pick one of those up. On top of that, commons themselves aren't too bad either. It's a pretty small set, and we're going to be opening five booster packs of it. These were packaged just with one single booster pack inside of them. It's a pretty small set, so I'm hoping to get at least a widespread of things. Some commons that just stand out is Skill Drain. Didn't get the chance to get any of those. Rivalry of the Warlords is huge. Needle Ceiling's great. Pickup. Silva, why not? All of the Pac-Man cards. Old Vindictive Magician is deceptively good. Needleworm as well is huge. I'm pretty sure this card only had a tournament pack printing prior to this. So yeah, pretty cool set that we're opening today. Uh, we have five packs. I'm looking to get some of these big guys. I want a Demock for sure. I think that'd be really cool to build something around there. Definitely want a Jinzo because I know Alex has one and I've been dying to get my hands on one. And I wouldn't be too uh, upset, you know, pulling a Torrential Tribute. First things first though, I got to open the Pity Packs. That's Champion Pack 5. I got three of those bad boys to open today. See what we can seal from them, okay? Pack number one, Curse Seal. Not too bad, I guess. It could be worse. Whatever. A Crow is not too bad. I'm pretty sure I have three crow already, so it's not the greatest thing in the world. Again, we're looking for some of the, I guess, hollows or the rares and above. Last pack, a super wave motion cannon. Pretty sure I have three of those. Nice to have one in super rare though. Pretty card. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Whatever, we'll get into gold series today. We only have five booster packs of gold series one. Should be a quick opening, but let's see what we can grab from it, okay? All right, we get to open five 25 card packs of gold series 2008. This is a bit scary because I think this set more heavily favors Gage than it does me. There's a lot of cards in here that I already have that Gage can now have access to. There's a few cards that I can get that Gage has, but I think I think it more heavily favors him. So let's hope at pack number one. This is one of them. I am ecstatic to see I finally have a copy of Breaker. And this is hilarious because Cyber Dragon is still banned in our format. So each of these packs has three gold rares. So this is a great start. One out of three hits is not necessarily good, but this is one of the most playable ones in the set. So we're most likely going to keep this. And uh, looking at the rest of the commons, uh, Skill Drain, something Gage is going to have access to, which kind of sucks. Doom Dozer at common is nice. Having three of this for each of us is going to open up some strategies potentially later on. But even now, Silva, this is our third common copy of Silva, so we could even lean into Dark Worlds more if we get like a second copy of Gold, which funny enough is Gold Rare. That's very fitting. But uh, I don't know if we're going to go too heavily in that direction. Just some really decent cards in the set all around. All right, first pack was looking pretty good. Like I said, I really want Crush Card more than anything. It is a Gold Rare though, so we'll have to see. This pack looks pretty good. So I think DD Warrior Lady might still be limited, but if it comes to two or three, we can now have multiple copies of it. Brain Control might be in the same camp, so this kind of sucks. And Grandmaster, actually, I need to check my six sample of Grandmaster. 
Grandmaster makes six Sam viable. We could go that route this episode. The rest of the commons though, uh, another Silva. I think we already have a play set, sadly. Solar Flare puts like burn on the table, I guess, but uh, we already have most of these. So I don't think there's anything too important here. I guess Needle Ceiling might be worth mentioning. All right, already peeping up with some absolute bangers. A Skill Drain, needed one of those myself. Needle Worm, like I said, is pretty cool. Torrential Tribute Gold Rare, Dark Magician of Chaos, and a Don Zalug. Does not get much better than that. Nice trio right there. Needed one of these for the collection, wanted one of these for the collection, and hey, I can't not smile with this guy here. Look at him strapped with the gats too. Absolutely crazy pack, man. Pack number one, dude. Wow. Alrighty, number two. Gold rares are at the bottom. Heavy, swords, and a blue eyes ultimate dragon as our gold rares. Can't play heavy. It's both banned for us, but hey, that's okay. I'll take one. Another copy of skill drain though. That's two skill drains that I didn't have before. Definitely stoked to grab those. Rest of the commons don't look anything too substantial, so let's get into the next one here. Flip them up. Crush card virus. Oh my goodness. Yo, I got to build something with this bad boy today. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Like I said previously, a prize card. You could not get your hands on this bad boy anywhere else. Alex might be looking for Prometheus here because it's one of the only cards that allows him to selectively change the quantity of dark monsters in his graveyard to feel dark armed dragons. So that might be something he's looking for. It's not the most substantial card though. I'm not too scared of it. But this guy here, crush card is killer. Did I get the third skill drain? I did. Look at that. Everything I wanted from gold series. That's perfect. So as you can see, it's sort of all about the gold rares and that's what's the most exciting. So let's get into pack number three. There's the fucking crush card. Let's fucking go. Our deck is going to be unfucking beatable. We have crush card. We have dark arm dragon. We got the newly acquired disc commander. It's like we're going to be playing Teledad. Oh my God. I feel so bad for Gage. Not really though, because he brought this on himself. In any case, Prometheus is also a very strong hit because one of the biggest issues with my deck is that I have no way to modulate the monsters in the graveyard for the dark count for dad and with this we are able to do that which means now we have a surefire way to get dad off in the mid to late game very happy to see this very underrated card it doesn't get better than this i think the only way it gets better is if we get more gold rares that we could actually use like maybe more copies of grandmaster potentially but even then i'm not sure how viable six sam is maybe later in the game uh all these gold rares we have another prometheus isn't the worst but 3dd warrior lady for the future is kind of lit not gonna lie i think that's our third doom dozer as well which is very important just for any insect based deck and the rest of these i think we already have pack number four flip them up mirror force two so if it ever comes off the ban list i will happily shove it in the deck another copy of rota and then a brain control Ooh, alex might get a shot at one of these but i i actually don't think i had a brain con that's big I wanted a brain con. Might have to build monarchs today too. That's something that I could definitely keep my eyes on. Let's get to the last pack. Gold series has been wonderful to me. What are these last few ones? I can't even see. Hold on, let me see. Another Democ, another Prometheus, and another Don Zalug with a third copy of Skill Drain coming in hot. Everything I could ask for and more. What a great opening today, man. I didn't have any redoer tickets available, so I'm really happy we came out on top with this. Let's shove this in the collection. Let's build an absolute whomper today. All right, last pack of gold series. This is exactly what I wanted. I don't think it could have any better. I might have respun to get crush card. Not gonna lie. Flip it up. Another breaker. Sadly, breaker I think is limited and might even be banned at this point, but it's limited in our format. And uh, Jinzo having another one of these is cool, but one is pretty much enough. Blue Eyes Ultimate sick, but uh, again, not really gonna use it. I don't think there's anything in the comments we were looking for, but we got crush card. We got breaker. We have everything we could have wanted out of this set. Let's find a way to destroy Gage this episode. This is going to be a massacre. All right, ladies and gents, this is what we're taking into battle today. A little bit more oriented to the Monarch side. I know Alex has been been playing a lot of floaters recently and it's just been really pounding me so i want to give the soul exchange package as well as our new brain con an extra spin here got a couple of new friends to be able to plug into the mix here torrential tribute crush card virus looks like they're going to be making their way into the mix it should be exciting to play with these cards reckless greed is also freshly at three i know it doesn't appear it might work really efficiently in this first draft here but i want to give it a shot the last time that we played reckless greed at three it gave us some pretty good options plus mix it with a card like pot of greed as well as morphing jar that we're able to play here i don't really see myself getting locked out of cards in hand for too long. The side deck finally get able to dress it up with cards like Skill Drain, which we didn't have before. Um, I'm maxing out on that. I'm going to try to do for a little bit of a burn strategy in the extra deck here with Wave Motion Cannon. If Alex is playing some sort of like standardized just beat down deck, hopefully the floodgates can actually get through to him. Not banning Harpy's Feather Duster was a little bit awkward of a decision to want to be able to do this in the extra deck, but I think for uh, the main deck here, it should be just powerful enough with chainables as well as cards that just don't really lose the back row removal. Um, I think we should be pretty all right. Heavy Storm was just reprinted in this gold series, which I don't have to worry about 
about heavy because it's banned, but if I only have to worry about one blowout card, I guess it's better than having to worry about two of them. I just really got tired of losing to Cyberstein, so I really wanted to make that my choice for the ban for today. I feel like this list just isn't too bad, though. Uh, the Thunder Dragons are, are going to serve the dual purpose, again, being targets for soul exchange, just making sure it's always online. Plus, we get the card like, like Brain Control, like I said, with Snatch Steel as well. Just a whole bunch of ways to nab up Alex's monsters and be able to use them for ourselves. Hoping to resolve Crush Card Virus in tandem with a card like Spirit Reaper, Sangin, or Dark Mimic. That should be very fun. <laughs> I'm ready to duel. Let's see what Alex brought to the table. You know, this may not exactly represent a deck from around this time in Yu-Gi-Oh's history, but it looks pretty damn close, especially when Dark Arm Dragon eventually gets limited. Uh, we're just playing like straight up Dark Arm Control, which is fucking sick. Uh, Crush Card Virus has multiple targets in this deck because we have Disc Commander, we have Spirit Reaper, we also have Sangen in here as well. Uh, even Magical Scientist counts, now that I think about it. So we have multiple, and not to mention Mystic Tomato can get into any of these cards as well. So it's like we have seven ways as long as we see the Crush Card. Obviously, we have to get there, but with bombs like this, Dark Arm Dragon, the unbanned Harpy's Feather Duster and everything else we have in our deck. I do not see how Gage wins this episode. So this is going to be fantastic. Let's do the card by card. We have the newly acquired Breaker in here as well. Card Trooper's good because hopefully it'll get discommanded to the graveyard for us to resurrect it. DD Warrior Lady's the only non-dark I'm playing because it's just a generically good card. Also gives me something good to search off of Rhoda if I don't want to go for a Destiny Hero. Dark Arm Dragon's the bomb. We have two copies of Dekoichi just to get us deeper into our deck. Dasher's in here. This card kind of sucks, but to be fair, we are playing D draw, so I want targets for it. And we also can just get rid of it with like Card Trooper and such. And then it's a good like mid to late game card potentially. Also, we can use it to trigger last will. So there are some interactions with this card and uh, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's fine. We have two Diamond Dude. I'm playing like 10-ish cards that can activate off of Diamond Dude. So hopefully if we hit them, then we're going to be off to the races. We have the one Disc Commander, one Fear Monger. This card kind of sucks, but honestly, it gets Disc Commander, so I'll take it. We have Jinzo, Magical Scientist, Triple Tomato, the Prometheus to modulate our graveyard for the Dark Arm, Sangen, Snipe Hunter, and Spirit Reaper. For the spells, we have Brain Control, Confiscation, Dark Hole, Destiny Draw, this with only four targets is a bit iffy, but we can search some of them as well with like Sangen and Rhoda. So we can sort of make sure that this is always online, but it puts Destiny Hero Disc Commander into the graveyard, which is very important. Fisher, Giant, Trunade, Graceful, Charity, Harpy's Feather Duster, Lasso, MST, Averse, Pot of Greed, Premature Bear, Rhoda, Smashing Ground, and Snatch Steel. And we're only on four traps. We're playing Crush Card, Ring, Torrential, and Dust Shoot. I was playing Saku, but I figure I don't even need it, honestly. And we'll see if that even comes up. Uh, for the side deck, Double DD Crow, in case Gage is playing some weird deck, I figure this card's becoming slightly more relevant now, so I want to just have copies of this in here. Book of Moon got semi-limited on the newest ban list for us, so I have this in the side. It doesn't really make sense in this deck, but I think in the sideboard, it's okay, especially depending on what Gage is playing. Triple My Body is a shield in case Gage pulled, like, his own Crush Card virus or also just has a bunch of removal. We can just have this come out of the board and just have more ways to interact with it. A second copy of Avarice, I think it'd be very funny, but I just don't think it's very good. Uh, two Twisters and two Dust Tornadoes in case Gage is playing some back row deck, and Triple pulling the rug for any of his Monarchs or anything like that because he still has been playing them. So I cannot wait to give this deck a try. This just seems like an absolute blast. I This may be one of the fastest episodes of Progression Series ever. We'll just have to see though. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Gage, first time in Progression Series history that we are opening Gold Series. This is a banger of a set. How are you feeling about your pulls? Oh man, dude, I was giddy to open up this set. Just a great stab at a whole bunch of cards that I didn't have before, dude. Skill Drain, yep. could you imagine? Oh yep. my goodness, finally yep. got my hands on, spoiler alert, I finally got my hands on a couple of those. But uh, <laughs> what a great set, dude. Gold Series 2008, just set the precedent for all the Gold Series in the future too. What a, what a great series of sets. What do you think of Gold Series? Yeah, no, for for sure. I mean, I do have some experience with this, obviously, from Sealed Showdown, obviously in a much different context. But the thing that's neat is that in Gold Series, you almost get play sets of every common in the set just because of the way the set's structured early on. And then it comes down to the gold rares. And I did mention in my uh, opening segment that this favors you more than it does me because I think there's several cards in Gold Series that you now have access to potentially that I already had. And there's not as many chances for me to have that same leg up on you. But uh, I'm very excited about what I pulled. And I think overall, like if we're going to start seeing some more of the secondary like side reprint sets looking like gold series, these are going to be some of the best episodes of the progression series season two. And we haven't even gotten to the duel yet. And I'm already I'm already stoked. I know I'm <laughs> stoked to absolutely crush you today, dude. Got a couple new fun cards to play with. I can't wait to show them. I agree. I agree. So let's get into it then. Shout the patron. It is I love Gage's ego and so should you. <laughs> Thank you. for the I support. agree. I agree. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can. Oh, Ooh, it's been okay. A okay, it's been a minute. Big choice, buddy. Big choice. Still big choice. I am going to go with the big second. I will take my additional card. 
We didn't even talk about the elephant in the room that you banned Cyberstein. <laughs> I did. I got rid of that Stein. I was so tired of losing to it. I'm so glad I don't have to worry about the 5,000 threshold anymore. Fair Yu-Gi-Oh from right. here on out. I'm going to go ahead and just set a pair and throw it to you. All right. Game on duelist. Let's see here. I will draw for turn. Standby phase in the main phase. Do we got anything? Nope. All right. You survived dust shoot. Let's Congratulations. Go. I am going to start with Thunder Dragon, pitching it to add two more copies. Back on the Thunder Dragons. Okay. Okay. Pick up one, and I will pick up a second. <laughs> oh, I no, I was no, picking up one. no, I actually did have both in the deck. Thank goodness. <laughs> All right, I'm going to follow it up with a normal summon of Snipe Hunter. Okay, pretty strong. All right, I'm going to get sniping. Let's hit this face down here, okay? Sure. You're just going to miss anyway, so it doesn't matter. No shot. It doesn't happen. Yeah. It right. doesn't happen. I tried. I tried. It's Warrior Lady. Okay, big so. hit. All right, you know what? I'm going to go for the back row, too. I'll pitch the other Thunder sure. Dragon in hand. I never miss. Two I for never two. miss. What did I get? Never miss. This one is Destiny Draw. Oh, completely dead. Oh, that's so strange, too. You got to have some good Destiny hero cards to use with that. What are you... Outside of Mally Diamond, dude, what are you playing? Whatever. We'll get there when we get there. I'll go 15 to the dome. All right, Gores? Then no shot. <laughs> <laughs> I will set a card, and uh, I'll just pass it to you, Alex. Go ahead. All right, sure, buddy. I'll draw. Main phase one. Uh, I'm I'm just chilling. I'll set one and pass. <laughs> oh Go ahead. Goodness, this is looking good for me. I'll draw. Standby phase, main phase. Mm -hmm. All right, well, um, I will snipe Hunter again. I'll pitch Mobius okay. this time, and I'll target the face okay. down. We sure. never miss. We never miss. Told you. You never miss. Uh, I'm getting punished for that set. Gage, you were wondering what other Destiny heroes could Alex possibly be playing in his deck? And you're about to see is it one Disc of Commander? them. It is Disc Commander <laughs> fresh it. off the oh, reward no. wheel, buddy. Oh, I knew it too. I was like, oh my God, Disc Commander. All right, well, you got to have pre-mat or you got to have something to pair with it to bring him back. That but, is true. Um, no pot That's of true. greed yet to worry about. I am very tilted that as soon as you pop the set Destiny draw that I draw the Disc Commander immediately <laughs> after. Right? Not going to I a bit tilting, but you know, that's my own fault. So you know what, Alex? Let's get greedy with a reckless greed in the back row here. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna draw two sure. cards, okay? I'm gonna get one okay. and two. That's a really good pickup, actually. I'll throw down a Sangin. We'll pair him with the Snipe Hunter for 25. I'll take it. No worries. Nice. I'll hit main phase two. I'll drop a face down and I'll pass it to you. And then All right, perfect sure follow that auto drop buddy. in that standby phase. I'll hit you with the uh the trap dust shoot here. Well, there's only one target here, sadly. Better than no uh, targets. I will get rid of this. Oh, yeah. my God. Those are some good ones, though. But I, I They're not feel bad. really safe right now, though. You have no big plays. I'll dump the scientist. He's going back. Cool. I'm getting pretty punished here. Not going to lie. Uh, main one. Um, well, if you commit another 1,500 body to the board, I'm dead. Fissure doesn't do much, too. Just gives me a free card. Fissure is okay because it gets the body off the board and it's a bit harder for you to be able to kill me. So it's not the worst, but it's not the best. Man, this is not looking good. Getting punished for setting that D draw turn one. Uh, I am gonna Fisher the Sangin, right. honestly. I'll get my Sangin search, no problem. Okay. You know what, being under Reckless Greed, um, I do think- yeah, do I, keep that in mind. I do think I wanna try to pick up a couple more cards over time here. I will pick up a uh, Witch of the Black Forest here. Sure. And then I'm just going to pass. Brain con last will. I think that's GG, my friend. No draw, but no problem. I'll throw down the witch, and we'll pair it with a light and a dark for chaos orc. Had the dark but off the sink. And I guess to be fair, maybe I shouldn't have uh, hit the dark immediately <laughs> to make me in death range. But yeah, figure you need to have something like that. That went right, smoothly. That was a good one. Well, that went downhill quickly. Uh, D draw into Disc Commander, and then I got Dust Shooted for the only other monster in my hand. If I got Scientist, at least I could have done something about the board, but uh, Dust Shoot made quick work of that. I will go second, as you identified. I think we have finally settled that going second's the move, unless we have some other reason not to. But best of luck, buddy. Let's best see what you got. Best of luck, man. I'm curious what you can do here. I will go standby phase into the main phase. I will set one, I will set two, and I will set a third. And I will just pass. Go ahead, bud. All right. I'll be starting with the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, Mr. why not, man? Handsome fella right there. Okay, I'll draw a couple. All righty. You've got two back row. Do I care? Survive Dust Shoot as well, I guess, unless you're going to hold it. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to set a pair, and we'll throw it back. Okay. 
no problem. I will draw for turn. Standby phase, main phase. <laughs> I'm, I'm stoked. This play is going to be awesome. Um, okay, maybe it's not as crazy as I thought. No, it's still pretty crazy. Who am I kidding? I'm going to set a monster, and then I'm going to flip summon Morphing Jar. Oh, fuck. Okay. Right. Um... That's not good. That, that's got to be okay, right? You don't have anything. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, I'm not like super bummed about this, but I mean, you fuck get the morphing jar. Five yeah. out of your hand here, though, so I'm stoked to see what I grab uh, out. Didn't mean to banish that. Excuse me. You got Dark Hole. Uh, thanks for putting Disc Commander in the grave. I do appreciate it. Oh, that, and look, but... a couple of good cards in the grip there. I'll take five new ones though. Don't worry. Baller. Okay, cool. Um, now I got a fresh grip. I'll replace this Thunder Dragon in my hand for two sure. more. Sure. Okay, that's good. You didn't <laughs> you didn't draw the other two. I know, right? We got lucky. We got lucky. So I'll take two more Thundras. I already normal summon this turn. You did set a monster. Yes, I did set. Yes, I will go battle phase. I'll take a little peek at your face down here. I doubt Morphing Jar will gap it. It's a Decoichi, okay. so you'll take three and I'll draw one. Oh, could you imagine if I bumped that before? Oh, well, no, Morphing Jar <laughs> has to flip first. That wouldn't make any sense. Um, yeah, that wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, we'll go main two. Take uh, your 300. Oh, my, my bad. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't think Dekoichi's ever survived in defense position in his <laughs> life, but, you know, it's fine. There's a first for everything. Um, yep. I will set an additional card here, and uh, I will brace for the duster. That's for sure. Your move, bud. The freshly unbanned duster. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> you know what? I got to say, I'm pretty happy that you uh, you morphing jarred because the hand is fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see. Show uh, me. We'll see. I'm going to start with Comfy. I want to get some knowledge here. All right. I don't got anything too crazy in here, actually. Take one of the Thunder Dragons, you know? Yeah, that's definitely the move, right? All right. So it's double Thundra, Snipe, Vortex, ex uh, Soul Exchange. You don't have a tribute dude for soul exchange. Snipe Hunter is kind of annoying, but at least you need to discard cards for it, which you do have Thunderous for, so there's that. I guess I'll bin Vortex. At least Snipe, you have to commit a normal and it can miss, so. I respect it, all right, Vortex is gone. All right, uh, for my next trick, Premature Burial Targeting Disc Commander. <laughs> that's, that is quite strong, that's okay, yes, that's good. I cannot believe we get to do this. Activate Disc Commander. Yeah, Disc Commander's cool. Okay. Graceful Charity. Wow. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah, that's going to be fine. <laughs> I told you my hand is crazy. All right. We're going to shuffle up here. I have way too many cards to work with now. This is insane. Fucking heavy slump me, bro. I dare you. <laughs> no shot. I don't have uh, that card. <laughs> You really got the promo wheel. I can't believe it. <laughs> Someone mad? I'm a little bit upset, man. I wanted him. <laughs> Fair. Oh, my God. I have fucking embarrassment of riches over here. I, I actually just have choice paralysis because I have too many good cards. Okay. I am going to bin Fearmonger and Diamond Dude. Okay. Huge Destiny Hero package. Don't... True Nade. Yikes. Um... Okay, uh, I'm going to Chain Reckless Greed. I have no response. Chain Reckless Greed. That's pretty good. No response. Okay, and then I'll let this last one go to hand. So okay. we'll resolve here, okay? I'll draw four off of my Reckless Greed. Okay, everything goes back. These go bin, this goes to hand, okay? okay. Auto draws off. Auto draws off. Now I'm wishing I confied you after this, but I think with the order of my hand, eh, I could have probably copied later, but that's okay. I would have had full, full knowledge. All right. Well, I have three darks in grave. I special summon dark arm dragon. I thought he might be around. Okay, that's fine. And then I have yet to use his effect, so I'm going to start blasting. So let's go ahead and pop the set first. Okay. Spear Reaper. Reaper, nice. Uh, do I care about popping another? I mean, at this point, it's just damage. Do I care that much? I don't think it puts you out of range of anything. At least it shouldn't. Yeah, I don't put you out of any range, so I don't think I'm going to banish another one. Uh, I'm going to run up Mystic Tomato since I haven't normaled yet. Okay. Uh, we're just going to get in with everything. So 21 off of this hit, and then it'll be 3, 14, and 14. I'm going to have to take it all. That's all fine. And then second main, I'm going to set one, two, three, and throw it back. Okay. Um, no draw. Let's see if we can make this work. I will summon Snipe Hunter. <laughs> I had a feeling this is what you were going to do. <laughs> that's why I bring him to Yeah, that's what I, I figured you might have a response <laughs> to it, too. I didn't think there was any way I was going to stick this. Um, no prio. No prio. 
Um, that's fine. We'll both take 15. Okay. She's down to 1,000. I'll activate Brain Con, and I'll take Dad. Uh-oh. That's not good. i got to pay 800 for it. You do. I'll put you down to 200. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's not a lot. Duh. Okay. Uh, you have two darks you could pop. Oh, three darks, excuse me. So you could actually just nuke my whole board here. Can I tackle the have... Brain Con monster? I can do that, you right? You can. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's not mind control. That's why brain control is a, a good card. It used to be a good card. Used to be, yeah. The errata kind of ruined it, let's be honest. Uh, but back in the day, this card was crazy. Uh, Double Thunder, Soul Exchange. I got rid of the Snipe. So there's three cards left I don't know about. You're also already committed to your normal. And one of those cards is another Spell and Trap because it got bounced with True Nade. Uh, I will book Dad. Mm. E yeah, I'm not going to be able to live through this. You got this one. Woo! Alex, you got to see a couple of my uh, fresh new cards in the collection. I got my own copy of Brain Control now. I did. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Not happy to see that. I'll be honest. Not happy to see it. But, uh, you know, it's out of all the cards you could have gotten, that's probably one of, like, the lesser offenders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's not all I got, though. You haven't seen the half of it, but you might in this last game here. I'm going to opt to go second. Best of luck to you, Duelist. All right. Best of luck to you as well. This has been a good one. This has been a this very been high a power very match good for sure. High octane Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm stoked to see how this last game pans out. Uh, I'm not happy to see how this one pans out. <laughs> I'm going to cry, probably. I'll be honest. I'm just going to set one in pass. Oh, no, not even a monster. That's very good for me. I will draw. Thankfully, I have this. Ooh, so. I mean, I, I don't even have to guess who's probably leaving the hand there, right? Okay. All right. Off the so, top. Snipe, Witch, Soul, Book, Reckless. Did Reckless go to three this list? It did. <laughs> it went oh, back to three. Okay. And BLS. Uh, very funny with the patron name, given what it was. So, Witch guarantees you can get a light. So, I'm going to have to deal with that asshole at some point. Uh, the rest of your hand, it's kind of okay. I mean, it's not, like, great. Witch sort of unlocks it, though. I could tuck the witch back, potentially, and then all your hand... Uh, Reckless sort of messes with it. It's just like... No, yeah. Do you want to go this whole game knowing I have Blackluster Soldier? I don't, honestly. And looking at my hand, I don't even think I'm equipped to deal with that, to be honest. I will tuck the BLS, sadly. I figured you might. It Honestly, the yeah. safest choice there. It is, it is. All right, we'll throw him back, shuffle him up. No problem, I'll give him one or two. And then uh, I guess you already know she's coming down. Yep. Sinking an 11. Never getting this card. Main phase two, a one, a two. Go ahead. Book Reckless. Well, thank God I got that. I get my own Reckless streak. <laughs> hey, mine doesn't oh, stop man. my draw phase. Yeah, it's only fair. <laughs> All right. Not a very spicy play, sadly. Uh, I think I'm going to go set one, set two, throw it back. Okay, I will draw. Stand by main. Yep. How greedy am I getting, Alex? <laughs> you are the king of greed, Gage. I am. I'm so greedy, bro. Um, You're playing Reckless Greed. You're literally greedy. I know. I'm <laughs> I don't know if I want to skip two of my draws now, though. But it could be. Oh, my God. It could be a gargantuan swing here. Gage, it could be anything. It could literally be anything. <laughs> it could literally be anything. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to make this play so bad. But it seems, <laughs> it seems so bad if I don't draw exactly like a monarch to pair with this soul exchange. For the soul exchange? Yeah, I agree with you. But it, but Gage, it could That's be a That's what I'm saying. Monarch. It could be a monarch, Alex. And it then, could and be And then monarch. that back row, Alex, it could be pulling the rug. <laughs> 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 Fuck it, let's do it. I'm gonna flip Reckless Green. He's going for it! Yep, that's fine. <laughs> One, two, okay. Turn off that auto draw. I gotta turn it off, you're right. Did you get the monarch? No. <laughs> I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't get the monarch. Um that's alright. I still But it, but it could have been the monarch. Very, oh, it definitely could have. No no doubt it could have. I'll follow it up with the we'll go snipe hunter, okay? Okay. At least you got some extra cards yeah. to pair with snipe, so that's pretty all good. Alright, hunter okay? Hunter's fine. All right, I'm going to hunt the, the face down here. No response. I've never missed one today. I don't feel like doing it today. Ah, uh, easy. What you is haven't it? missed. It is Discommander. All right, <laughs> handsome man. Don't worry about it. We'll go battle phase. I'll sink 11, sure. 15. Uh, 26. This is fine. I'll take it all. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll just go main two. I will just uh, like debate if I want to let you keep this face down. If it was D draw, you'd flip it. It might be a bluff. I'm going to let you keep it. Go ahead. Your turn. Okay, so I know you have Soul Exchange probably in hand, Book of Moon probably in the back row, and I don't know your other two because I believe they are off of Reckless. I will draw main phase one, Premature Burial. 
That's bad. <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh, you had the... Oh, that's so smelly. Yeah, okay. Disc Commander's cool. Yep. I will activate Disc Commander yeah. and draw two yeah, cards. Yeah, that's fine. I can't believe, oh, you, I can't believe my... you've done this twice <laughs> in this in this match so far. I can't believe I've done this Oh twice. my god, dude. Yeah, all right. <laughs> this should not be allowed. This, I mean, technically, this should, this wasn't allowed back then. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Uh, same problem as before. How do I deal with this? I know you have book in the back row. I have to take out your back row. I want to do what I want to do. I don't know why I got rid of pre-mat. I'm sorry. All right. Off the graceful. Let's get rid of fear monger diamond dude. That's familiar. <laughs> it's the exact same two I pitched before. Yeah. Hilarious. Uh, sack disc commander for Jinzo. Yeah. Activate last will. Oh, oh my god, that's strong. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, not as strong as I would like it to be. I think the smart pick here is actually Warrior Lady, if I'm being honest. Yep. Uh, okay. So we got that far. We still have Soul Exchange. There's two other random cards you could possibly have. I'll go Battle. Okay. I'm going to put Witch and uh, or Warrior Lady into Witch. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to take four. Do you want to banish them? I will banish. Okay. Uh, and then Jinzo into Snipe. Um, I am going to book a moon, the Jinzo here. Okay. Uh, second main, I'm going to set two. And then I'm going to drop Dad and pop Snipe Hunter. <sighs> Yep. <laughs> yeah. Now you know how it felt all season oh, one, buddy. Shit, that hurts. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. I'll not draw for turn. Um, I will just set a card, and uh, I will pass. Go ahead. And he'll pray. I'll draw. Uh, dad, pop it. Yep. It's Sangin. I will get a Sangin search. Oh, well, you get that at least. None of us is impervious to dad. It just <laughs> just doesn't lose to dad. Oh man. I guess I'm grabbing card trooper. Okay, flip Jinzo. Yep. Normal breaker. Oh my god, yep. 19, 24, 28. I think that's it, right? Uh, I think you're just barely alive. Five hundo, I'm, let's go. I'm gonna book Jinzo and then ring my dad for game. Yeah, I mean, that's a fancy way to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh man, the boss monsters are too much, bro. That's That last will play was crazy, too. What yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, I just didn't draw into one of my tributes. I, I didn't have the Soul Exchange in hand anymore. I pitched it. I don't know why I still thought I had it. Oh, that's but, right. You, I don't know why I thought you had it either. So you just had three cards. I'm playing around Soul Exchange for nothing. Yeah, no, then. I drew into uh, Trunade Sork, and I'm like, I really needed... It. Thunder mm. Dragon was also like a Soul Exchange target. Like, I just needed really any of the one tribute things to, like, get that massive advantage lead on you. Then again, sure. you did have the pre-map for the Disc Commander into the Graceful. Did you draw into the Graceful Charity from Disc Commander again? I did. <laughs> the I can't believe that, Commander. dude. That's so crazy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, oh, I knew man. recently you were on a lot of floaters and stuff, so I wanted to try yeah. uh, to bring back the Monarchs a little bit more heavy since mm -hmm. I got, like, mm -hmm. brain control. I also got myself a lovely copy of Torrential Tribute from the set. I figured you would. Yeah, figured so you I was not happy about that. Uh, I did have my bodies in preparations for your Torrential potential. Yeah, yeah. So. I didn't... One Tribute monster I did not get that I really thought I would would be Jinzo. I actually did not... You didn't get a Jinzo. I didn't get a Jinzo wow. this time around. I, I got some pretty cool stuff like Demox. Uh, I got, like, my nice. skill drains. Nice. I got, like, the torrential and the brain control i even got a heavy storm can't quite play it though. can't use it but <laughs> you have it how was your gold series though how did it treat you well as we can see we do have mr breaker on the yep, field so i did guy. manage to get him yep uh i think i got another jinzo funny enough so not relevant now because i believe he's limited but uh if we want to pull him out later you did see that i got the disc commander out of my pulls from the wheel so that was I, I, there's so many promos uh that i thought disc commander was correct because stratos actually has a multiple reprints before disc commander gets reprinted again. Yep. So I figured it's better to take Disc Commander now and then try to get Stratos later. Uh, even though Stratos is probably, uh, probably has like more longevity, if I'm being honest, but Disc Commander is crazy. I mean, we saw this game. I drew like six cards off. Oh of him, yeah, you so used, he's nuts. what, you pre-matted it twice. <laughs> How's the go-to yeah. reborn is the one of premature I, burial. <laughs> I did have the Fearmonger in here as well, which I mean, Fearmonger is bad reborn, but like he's good enough. And uh, aside from that, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that was like really valuable out of Gold Series. Uh, oh, actually there was. So there was Prometheus, as a matter yep, of fact. I remember he was him. in the Gold Bear slot. Yeah, so one of the big issues with my Dark Arm Dragon deck is that I didn't have a way besides Avarice to really modulate my graveyard. And so Prometheus is nice because mid to late game, if Dad is rotting in my hand, I could Prometheus my graveyard of all the darks that except for three and then just drop Dad and then we're off to the races. So he was actually a nice pickup. And then Gage... 
What is the card that is notorious for gold series? Is it crush card virus? Because you're not too fancy. I got one too. I did not. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I did not get to activate it. I did end up siding it out this last game. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. because I knew I was yeah. going to go second, but I did not get to play it myself. But uh, no, I did, I did not do my opening first. Obviously, I picked this commander before doing my opening. So the fact that I pulled it just made it all the more likely that I wanted to play this strat. Uh, even though I don't have the maliciouses and the D draws like you, I just have one of each. So I, I played the one D draw, which is probably a terrible idea. But in any case, crush cards in our format now. Things are about to get very, uh, very sacky. More than, more so than they have. Been. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah I don't think this is disaster. Uh, of a I don't card. think this list was too bad. Just couldn't put them quite together to be able to get a win out of the way. I think the reckless greed it was a little too greedy. I wanted to play it because it did go back to three this list, and I was hoping to do like I did last game, chain like the double reckless greed, yeah, bring me to like yeah. a swift victory. But can't win them all, you know. To be fair, also with me having feather duster again too. If that's like your response to me using feather duster, that's not bad. That was the right? thought. I sort of get I sort of get punished when I use spell and trap removal on a reckless uh more than than otherwise right so I, I think that's actually like not a terrible uh terrible choice I I reckless is something that I should maybe look at too just to get to like my dad and stuff quicker because I only have the one but and know which of the black forest to search it like you do. you never will <laughs> get one bro. never I, will. I, I hope I, I hope that that is the case but in any case buddy uh I already talked about my wheel because you knew it was disc commander we got to see the power of this card and why this card was very banned very quickly yep. not long after this format Matt. You're going back to the banning, as a matter of fact. I do. Uh, and that's scary because this deck feels insane and you have a lot of potential cards that you can hit out of here. So I'm curious what you're going to hit next week. You know what? I I'm curious too, bro. I got to figure it out. <laughs> 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 I'll let you I'll let you know when I let when I figure it out. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shadow1317, Moto, Tim00, X3, Cameron Smith, MBT Play Medulce, Chaotic Meatball, Part 2, Pony Starks, The Synchro Guide, Dan the Man Hoban, I ship MBT and Simo, Draconic Phoenix the Immortal, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, John Two Based, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Zerius Business, MBT Caught Injecting his Fairy Lily, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Valen Jackson, Hornet, Arn you glad I didn't say Alpha Tribute Ben 10. TC Gaming, thanks for the sleeve stat. Matthew Brady, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crans, Luabon, Yodabon, Helios 515, Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, MBT funding the Iris with his Rothschild Wealth, that's his Roth IRA, Simping for Simo, Stolfin Amethyst, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, LGM, BTQ, Nim Noodle, Malabranch of the Burning Tunnel, Stella and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, James Keen, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed are boyfriends. MBT, cancel by all community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon soon. Not reading cards makes the game interesting, and you know it. The MBT in MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! stands for Morbin Time, The Undertaker vs. Simo and MBT, Dalton, Hunter Reed, Shrugs IX, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, ITF, Corvain, Dark Echo, TG Starman, Simus Engage, Viso the V, Wacky Waving, Arm Failing, Fable, Two Men Selling, Crudely Painted, Not So Funny, Plywood Cutout, Folk Art, and HatFormat.com. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.